In the last tutorial, we learned some basic modeling techniques to begin creating simple models. In this tutorial, we will apply these techniques, as well as learning a few new ones, to begin creating more complex models. In this video, we will recreate the mansion model from my recent PS1 horror video. As this model is symmetrical, we'll use a mirror modifier. A modifier is an additional property we can add to a model to transform it in some way. In this case, a mirror modifier will simply mirror whatever we create, halving the amount of work that we need to do. Click here to switch to the modifier tab and then add the mirror modifier. Now, when we switch to edit mode and move the cube, we can see that it's mirrored. Line up the cube edge to edge like so. Now, to begin, scale the cube to the rough proportions of the building. Use the loop cut tool like so, and then extrude the right hand face to create the main wing of the building. To create the balcony section, create four loop cuts vertically and then a loop cut horizontally. Then extrude these three faces. To create the slanted sides, we'll use the merge vertices tool. Select these two vertices, making sure to select the outer vertex first, and then press Alt M to use the merge tool. Then select at last. Do this for the other three edges. Next, we'll create the doorway. Create a horizontal and vertical loop cut like so, and then extrude these three faces. Then select this edge and move it inwards to create the shape of the doorway. Loop cut again, and then extrude these two faces to create a cover. Next, let's create the roof. Select the 10 top faces and then extrude them slightly to give us the set of faces around the perimeter which we'll use later to create a trim. Select these eight edges and then move them upwards. Then select the inner edges and move them up again, this time slightly further to create a slight curve. Finally, create a loop cut in the center and then move this center edge upwards. Now, in order to create the trim, we need to create some new edges. We'll use the knife tool to do this. Click here to select the knife tool, then click and drag across the roof here, making sure to go through the two vertices at each end. Don't worry if the cut is not straight, you can select these edges and then scale them downwards in order to straighten them out. Make sure to do this on the back side of the roof too. Now we can select these faces and extrude them outwards. Then extrude the side faces again to create the shape of the trim. Now for the trim on the roof, create a loop cut and then extrude these faces upwards. Here, I'm scaling the edges out slightly to thicken this section out. Finally, select the front faces and then extrude them outwards to finish the trim. We can create this decoration at the top by using the knife tool to create new edges and then selecting the resulting two faces and extruding upwards. Finally, let's create the central roof and tower. Loop cut across the center, making sure for it to be slightly closer to the front. Select this edge and then move it upwards to create the roof shape. Finally, for the tower, Create two loop cuts and then extrude these faces. The tower will be leaning forward slightly, so make sure to move the faces backwards so it's straight. Finally, select the central vertex and move it upwards to create the spire of the tower. And that's it. Texturing works exactly the same way as in my previous tutorials. You may want to clean up the extra faces created by the loop cuts by selecting them, right clicking, and then selecting dissolve faces in order to simplify the UV mapping process. Also, bear in mind that you may need to create some additional faces in order to apply separate textures, such as the window textures. That's all for now. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And if you use this tutorial to create something, I'd love to see it, so make sure to join my Discord server to show it off. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.